And now Dial, the soap that stops order before it starts, presents Dial Dave Garraway. Well, hi there to you. And a low bow to our old pal Jack Birch, who just wound up one, and we'll just take it and carry it on a little bit from here. We got some singers, too. We got one that's called Connie Russell. That's... We got one called Jack Haskell. We got the Art Van Damme Quintet. And we got some chatter about a wonderful product called Dial Soap that will keep you fresh around the clock. That's a pretty tricky phrase. Maybe I ought to tell you what it means, fresh around the clock, huh? These are hot summer days, and you don't want to go around offending anybody, I'll bet you. You want to feel good yourself and secure, knowing that you're free from perspiration odor, don't you? That's what Dial Soap will do for you, all over, all day long. That's why it's a wonderful product. Dial, that's D-I-A-L, Dial Soap. The newest, nicest way to stay free from odor, safe all day. You know what today is, kids? What's today? Well, you can tell your mother to cut you out of your long red flannels today, because this is officially the first day of summer. I don't wear red flannels. It's still summer. They don't (laughs) care much about that. (laughs) It's summer if you live in a central time zone It's summer, or a mountain time zone, or Pacific time zone It's summer. But uh, the funny thing is, it won't be summer until tomorrow if you go by Eastern time, Eastern Standard Time. Now, this may be confusing to some people, but I don't understand it either. (laughs) <laughs> it's got something to do with the vernal equinox having spilled sugar on the summer solstice. Oh. That's what the news moon said, something like that over there. But it sure feels warm in here. Your resistance is getting low? Mm-hmm. Lowering all the time? This is Hoagie Carmichael's boom he lowered, isn't it? Right. You touch my fingertips and my heart is aglow. You Bend to kiss my lips and I can't let you go. Maybe I should resist, I'm a fool, I know. But at a time like this, my resistance is low. Your eyes have magic, they seem to say. Come closer, my darling, come closer, and somehow I can't break away. I want to be adored more than you'll ever know. I'm going overboard with a capital O. So don't be persistent, please keep your distance, you know my resistance is low. Don't be persistent, baby, keep your distance, you know my resistance is low. Anybody here doing any painting around the house? You're going to change the color of any of the rooms in the house? If you are, you ought to read what a uh, guy named Professor Leopold Kleiner, who is an interior decorator, but who is also a psychologist, has got to say about it. This man combines both businesses because he says one has got a big, important part of the other. For he will decorate a room in your house, old Doc Kleiner psychoanalyzes you. Yes, he does. Then, then he puts the colors on that fit your personality, and he says you feel much better. Well, just recently, one of the ladies came to him and said, My husband stays awake all the time. And just by the right combination of mauve and pink, she finds that now he goes to sleep in that room very easily all the time. Color has a big, important effect. Professor says blondes look wonderful in light green rooms. <laughs> blondes look wonderful in any room that I ever saw. One, one of his clients came in one day complaining that he was so nervous he felt like banging his head against the walls of his study. And the professor has designed a very fine room, one with soft, upholstered walls for him. <laughs> this prevents him from hurting his head? No, the professor said you got a lot of good theories. He says that a well-designed chair should look as though it enjoyed holding you. I think a well-designed woman should look that way, too. I think, <laughs> I think this psychoanalyst needs psychoanalyzing. So. <laughs> you heard what the one psychoanalyst said to the other when he met him on the street in the morning, didn't you? Why no, Dave? Tell us what the one psychoanalyst said to the other psychoanalyst when he met the other one on the street one morning. Good morning. You're all right. How am I? <laughs> 
thank you for that fine reading. <laughs> We're a little long now. <laughs> So's that old joke. <laughs> I think, I think if Jack keeps improving, he's going to be ready for the Sinclair Minstrels. <laughs> <laughs> Why, no, Dave. Tell us about the old dance. <laughs> Here's old Jackson to sing to, and he can read that pretty fine. This is a beautiful one called Whisper Low. Whisper low and hold me close, my dear. Whisper low. Words I want to hear Love's old song Is sweet and ever new And how I love To hear it sung by you Whisper low And tell me I've missed your fond embrace will ever thrill me so whisper I love you darling whisper low your fond embrace will ever I love you, darling, whisper low. Monty Hanson, Father. So is that Van Damme background there. Did you hear the little lacy stuff he yes, used? Yes, I did. Did you ever notice that when Art plays those little accordion things, he stands on tiptoes? Just so he won't push the keys too hard. Beautiful thing. Well, this is the first day of summer in, in some time zones every place. It'll be tomorrow, by sure, anyhow. Good time to remind you that hot weather is here. Or do you know that already? Good time to remind you that hot weather is dial soap weather, too. And it is. No matter how hot the thermometer gets up to or how much you rush around in the warm weather, just your regular, simple daily bath with dial soap keeps you fresh around the clock. Everybody perspires, you know that, especially in hot weather. But normal, healthy perspiration itself has no odor. Trouble is caused by a little skin bacteria that everybody's got. And that ordinary soap, no matter how hard you wash, will do anything about. I think they like it. But they don't like the AT7 that comes in dial soap, I can tell you that. Because it destroys them, kills them, takes them away. And having removed the cause naturally, dial leaves you fresh all over the place. And dial itself is such a delightful... Refreshing, nice way to this freedom. It's cool and it's rich, thick lather leaves you feeling clean and fresh, too. You get some dial on a hot day like the ones coming up and find out why either size, because it comes in two now, handy complexion bar and great big old bat size, why either size will keep you fresh all over and all these hot days long. <laughs> Hey, Dave, uh, mm -hmm. while you were doing the, the dial soap thing there, Jack and I were talking, and we have a question we'd like to ask. Yes? Is that a seersucker suit you're wearing, or have you still got your pajamas on? <laughs> <laughs> well, the last half of the word was what I was when I bought it. <laughs> if that's a suit, how come there's a white cord hanging down the back? <laughs> Very latest thing. <laughs> I better look. Maybe he's right. <laughs> Testing. Hey, you got to hear this new Van Damme arrangement. We heard it for the first time this morning. It's a familiar tune, and I'll bet you won't recognize it for a couple of minutes. It starts off, in fact, sounding like the Clark Street streetcar coming downtown fast. <laughs> Thank you. 
Isn't that a fancy new arrangement of Valios? Arthur, you ought to make a record of that pretty soon. Uh huh. Or maybe you'll make a record of some pop tune. You have a big trouble making up your mind in the recording business these days what to do. Of course, that business isn't alone. You have decisions to face every day, do, don't you? Some of them you haven't come across yet. What would you do if you saw an income tax collector lying in sleep in front of a steamroller? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a decision you've never had to make. How would a man feel if he saw his mother-in-law driving over a cliff in his new Cadillac? <laughs> Is that good or bad? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Sing a duet. Decision, decision. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kiss. Boiled or fried, I'm satisfied as long as I get my kiss. How do you like your toast in the morning? I like mine with a hug. Dark or light, the world's all right as long as I get my hug. I've got to have my love in the a.m. Or the rest of my day is positively mayhem. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kiss. Up or down, I'll never frown. Eggs, eggs can, can be almost bliss just as long. Get my kid. Hey, here's old Suds Mouth Prentice and Connie in a sweet little song about another fine armor product. Come on, Connie. It's the secret of you, chip on soap flakes. The secret of you for everything you wash by hand, including your hand. Yes, you'll find chiffon soap flakes really is a secret of youth for all your nicest things, bright blouses, colorful lingerie, and hands that do dishes, too. Yes, and chiffon's especially wonderful for your nice, crisp cottons, because chiffon removes some soils that synthetics just can't get out. Well, that's right, and the reason is chiffon is pure soap. No purer soap was ever made. Chiffon soap flakes are free from strong alkalis or fillers that harm delicate fabrics or dull colors. So cottons stay crisp, colors stay bright. And all your nice things lead a longer, lovelier life when you wash them in pure chiffon. It's the secret of you, chiffon soap flakes. The secret of you for everything you wash by hand, including your hands. Until Monday, little friend. Peace. Be sure to hear David Harding and Counter Spies tonight on NBC.